Hey everyone, this is Mayur. Welcome back to MLbox. In this video, we'll be discussing about audio classification and we'll fine tune a model with respect to a certain data set and store it in your local repository. So the first thing is, uh, let's install certain libraries that are required to complete the task. First is transformer library from Hugging Face, data sets and evaluate all from the Hugging Face. And then we'll install a certain library which is uh, audio dependency for library called as Soundfile and Librosa. And to accelerate, accelerate is another library used for uh, used from data sets for accelerating uh, your training or fine tuning job, right? On a specific hardware. So you will need that specific uh, library for that. So I have installed it already. I'll just run this cell. So after installing the uh, specific packages, what we'll do is we'll load a data set from uh, data sets library from Hugging Face. So this is from data sets import load data set comma audio and then audio load data set will pass the specific repository from Hugging Face minus 14 and the US split train. Okay. So once this is done, this is around like 400 or 500 megabytes of data is present around uh, more than 400 or 500 records of audio files are present. So we have already downloaded it and it is there in the local repository. And uh, now what we'll do is we'll split the data set between test and train. Let's see. Uh, so this is the data set which contains features like path, audio, transcription, English transcription, intent class and language ID. There are 450 rows that is 450 audio files are present. And there is a test data set and which contains 113 records with the same set of columns. Now our idea is here to use an audio file and identify its intent. So we don't need other uh, columns which are present here. So we'll remove those columns. So mines is equal to mines dot remove columns. Path will be removing. Transcription is removed. English transcription is removed and language ID is removed. Okay. So we'll remove all these columns and now let's look at the data set of string of zero. So what we have now is first record. It contains path of the audio file and its corresponding uh, ray format of that particular audio file and the sampling rate. Sampling rate is nothing but it is the data point or a floating point value of your audio file and 8000 means like 8000 data points turned into a one discrete uh, digital signal. Okay. So uh, this is the sampling rate for this audio file. Now it has belongs to a some specific class. Now what we'll do is uh, here the number it is present as two. Okay, we'll try to map it to a text. So what we'll do is we'll try to map the intent class to a specific label. So let's see. Intent class two refers to app error. Okay, similarly there will be other classes which is mapped to a specific label. Now what we'll do is we'll try to use a model which is already pre-trained on audio data set. So from here. From transformers, we'll be importing audio feature auto feature extractor and we'll pass in the model for which we'll use which we will be using for fine tuning. Okay, so here we are bringing in the wave to vec base model from Facebook and that will be acting as our feature extractor. Now, this specific model it is also trained on a specific data set which will have its own uh, sampling rate. So if you're fine tuning a model on a specific data set which is on a different sampling rate and the model which is pre-trained on some different sampling rate then we have to do some kind of pre-processing okay so what we'll do is we'll just uh, do the pre-processing in some next steps okay so let's first uh, do something called as minds.cast column so we'll be what applying this specific sampling rate on this specific audio rate what we have we'll be trying to add that so the sampling rate has been changed to 16. Now uh, the pre-processing function which I told, okay, what we have to do is now all this array which is in uh, what 8000 following the 8000 sampling rate is needs to be turned into 16000. So that's what we'll be doing in this pre-processing function. We'll go through each of the audio file, its array, con uh, array parameter and then we'll be applying this feature extractor, right? The feature extractor which we con uh, got from wave to wave. Let me run this cell as well. Uh, yeah, so we have a feature extractor. So what we'll do next is um, feature extractor here we have it and then audio arrays which we have taken from the samples the data set and then we'll be using the sampling rate of the feature extractor which is 16,000 
and at max length also we are keeping it as 16,000 and if it is beyond 16,000 we need to truncate it okay that's what the pre processing function will do so we have done that now uh, again right we are turning that our class labels which are intent class which is in numeric format we are assigning a label to it that also we are applying it here so this is done then what we'll do is how you will be evaluating your model so we'll be evaluating using accuracy so this is a more uh, library we evaluate from hugging face which will be using it here for evaluating a fine-tuned model and next step is uh, we import numpy and then compute the mat uh, matrix so what we do is whatever uh, predictions that we are getting the probability score we are getting the corresponding maximum probability and using that as our uh, what you call it as a ground truth not a ground truth your prediction score and will be compared against uh, showing the corresponding label IDs okay so accuracy dot compute predictions is equal to predictions references is equal to eval print dot label IDs okay so so this is done okay computing metrics so here comes the part where you are trying to load a actual model okay with certain parameters which are not initialized and certain parameters which are already initialized let me just uh, run this so if you see here uh, there will be some messages coming up some weights of the wave to wave for sequence classification were not initialized for the model checkpoint at facebook wave to wave base and are newly initialized so some of the parameters are not initialized which will be initialized uh, when we are fine tuning it okay and it is mentioned here all those things <coughs> so as i've seen here right i can show here from transformers we are just loading audio auto model for audio classification training arguments and a trainer object and then we are getting the number of uh, classes that are present and we are just initializing the model here now uh, what we do is we are creating training arguments and then uh, we are creating a trainer object in training arguments will be passed to the trainer object so what's training arguments so we'll be storing uh, where the model needs to be stored what is the evaluation strategy which means like after uh, one epoch you want to evaluate your model okay and save strategy also after one epoch we want to save the model and learning rate is the specific uh, 3e minus 5 and per device train batch of 32 and gradient accumulation step is 4 and these are some uh, parameters hyper parameters okay which can be modified based on your result how you want to uh, take it up once training arguments are done what we'll do is we'll pass it that to a trainer object where we'll be having our model which we have initialized in the previous step this is the model and these are the arguments and uh, our training and evaluation data set and the tokenizer we are using is also feature extractor and the, how we are computing the metrics so we have uh, have the functions and the model everything initialized even the data set everything next what we do is we'll be training a model which will take around two minutes and i have already trained a model if you go here you will be able to see my awesome okay this is the uh, folder name and these are the checkpoints since i am running for two epochs here so i'll get two checkpoints okay after each checkpoint after each epoch i'll get one checkpoint so let me just run this okay this will take two minutes uh, we can skip this part now next what we'll do is uh, let it run okay since we also have an already a model where we have stored the model okay we'll use that for uh, we'll load that and we'll try to evaluate that using that so with this you will be fine tuning a model on a specific data set okay this is one part of the model then once the model is trained you want to do an inference for that what you can do is then you can first uh, some take some data point okay in this case i'm using an audio file here which is again from mine's uh, same data set i'm taking one particular audio file and i have a model which is trained already okay and i want to create a pipeline of audio classification so audio classification model is equal to my checkpoint 6 from my this particular folder my awesome mine model and after which I'll be doing some kind of prediction on the particular audio file and I'll get the result. 
so what will happen is this will not run because this already the cell is running so we have around one minute uh, seven seconds have done let's wait for another 40 seconds so our model has been trained it took around two minutes and 36.5 seconds so we can so see the evaluation score evaluation loss and all those things what is the total run time and uh, training loss evaluation loss evaluation run time all these things are present so as i mentioned right what we have to do is we have to create a pipeline audio classification and point our uh, model to the specific checkpoint and then we have to do something called as classifier dot normally we do dot predict and get the prediction result what we have to do here is classifier of audio file and we'll get the specific uh, score like the accuracy score and then corresponding label according to it okay with this what we have seen is uh, till now so we have taken a data set uh, from hugging face and we have taken a model from hugging face and then we try to uh, fine tune a model on this specific data set and get the results so what we have done is uh, we did not uh, use the same pre-trained model we tried to fine tune it on a specific data set so this could be uh, what the result could be improved if you see here the uh, score what we are seeing it is around 0 0.07 okay it's not confident of its prediction result so what we can do to improve is you can just try this out uh, with more epochs and probably the result will be improving a lot okay so with that i'll be concluding this video thank you so much